get to counting and lottery? I thought we were going over lottery today. No. Okay, I heard somebody say yes, and then somebody say no. We had. We went over. We went over combination, and we went over permutation, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. This book does permutation first and combination last. Um, so let's go to the whiteboard, and I tell you what, let's go to Google. And I know we got questions. I'm going over those questions. We're going to go over questions probably Friday. Uh, Monday looks like test review and homework questions. So let's see. If I go over the test Monday, then what does that mean? Take your test that. Means, yeah, I'm going to open up the test, and the homework is probably going to cut off Wednesday. So some of y'all that needs to do all the homework sections, do them Wednesday at 12 o'clock at midnight. That way you can whine about, you know, not getting it done. Bernie will take care of you in the future. You think I watch the debate? You think I watch those six clowns, seven clowns? I didn't watch them. Did you see what Joe Biden announced himself as yesterday? Yeah, he said he was going to run for Senate. He was a gay, uh, something, female milk millionaire or something like that. Yeah. You know, you need to look that article up. I think he's lost his mind. He, yeah, he, he said in a speech yesterday that he was running for Senate. And that he needed, he needed everybody's help to run for Senate. Did y'all see that? I just said that. That man don't know what day it is. Anyway, South Carolina education. I'm 17. <laughs> now we're going to spend probably the whole class on this because I'm going to show you how to do it on the handy uh, calculator as well as the spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and pull up Powerball. <laughs> And how to play. And I'll skip this out. Oh, these are, is everybody finished? These are test questions. These are standardized test questions also. So you might want to put stars beside these because you're going to see them again if you take a standardized test. Or one like them. I mean, they're not going to be exactly like them, but it's going to be like them. Let's go to the Mega Million and pull it up. I'll do the Powerball, and y'all are going to do the Mega Million. Oh, my <laughs> All right, so let's go to the whiteboard and bring in the Powerball. And just copy it down and call this one Powerball. And that's what the question is going to look like. And it may not be exactly, it may not say Powerball, it may not have a little copyright R in it, it may not have each play costs $2, it may not have all that in it, but the gist of it is you've got so many different colored ping pong balls, and then you've got one ping pong ball. That's what the question will say. Now, the way that you do this, it, does the question say anything about order? No, because the lottery, no order. So you need to write that down. Lottery equals no order. Most of the time. I haven't seen one yet. Lottery is no order. Because if you have order, nobody would ever win it. 
I mean, the probability of winning the lottery is very low. If you put order in the numbers, good gosh, nobody would ever win it. Now, also make another note, and I'm going to put this in red. When you're talking about the lottery, you have to buy a ticket to what? To play. To play. So some questions uh, ask you, what is the probability of winning? So if they ask you what is the probability of winning, they are assuming that you're at least buying how many tickets? One ticket. So therefore, you have to put the one right there, and the one is symbolizing that you have at least bought one ticket because if it asks for, you know, what is the probability of winning in order to win, you have to buy a ticket. So the probability of winning is assuming that you're buying a ticket, which means that you have to put the one and the fraction bar over the combination times the combination. The combination of the first ball is 69. The combination, how many? And the combination of the second ball is 26, combination 1. This is the number of digits. This is the ping pong balls. This is the number of digits. This is the number of ping pong balls. Okay? Five different ping pong balls with numbers from 1 to 69. There's N. And this would be R. And select one Powerball from 1 to what? 26. And that's how you do that problem. Now, they may ask you to do um, two different answers. They may ask you to write as a fraction or a decimal. So make sure you can do both. So the, the fraction is going to be 1 over some BA number, and then the decimal is going to be, I, I take it out, out to at least 10 digits. So, so I don't know what they'll ask you to write on So now I'm going to take this, and you go ahead and I want you to calculate it. Calculate it as a fraction, and then I want you to calculate it as a decimal. I showed you how to do it on your calculator. Bit to the left. We talked to you. Yeah, Miss Jeter. Yeah. Could you turn the camera to the left, please? My left. I'm sorry. I guess I thought I was talking about your left. Thank you. You're welcome. There it goes back to her. <laughs> When the, the reason it talk, turns to her is because she's the one that talks, and the, ding, 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 the introverts, they don't talk, so that's why it always turns to her. Oh, my gosh. Somebody made a noise on the other side. Miss Cheater, don't move. <laughs> don't move and don't make a noise because I get to see the rest of the room. I watch film for minutes. I don't <laughs> she can't stand. She has to say something. You talking about me? I didn't say nothing. Yes, no, we're talking did. about Easley Campus. No, you're not. You're not a great liar. 
No, I'm not. I've been told that. All right, so I'm going to take this over to the handy dandy Excel spreadsheet. Let's go to the Excel spreadsheet. And the reason I'm going to pull it up here is we're going to do a little experiment. Let's say I buy one ticket, buy five tickets, buy ten tickets, buy a hundred tickets, buy five hundred tickets, buy a thousand tickets, buy ten thousand tickets, buy fifty thousand tickets. Buy 100,000 tickets, 500,000 tickets, a million tickets, one million five hundred tickets, thousand tickets, and two million tickets. And let's say, let's go ahead and do our two numbers up here at the top. Let me insert a couple of lines here. And let's go ahead and do the, I'm going to do the first uh, denominator, which is uh, 69 combination 5, right? So you would type in equals combin, C-O-M-B-I-N, parentheses, 69, what? Five, close parentheses. Five. That's that number. Make it a little bit bigger for y'all. And then... The other one's going to be 26, but I'm going to go ahead and type it in. Equals combin. You have a word email. Combin. Parentheses. 26, comma, 1, which should be 26. And yes, anytime you have a number, combin 1, think about it. You got 26 numbers. How is well, that's the only way you can have 26 numbers on a on one ping pong ball? <coughs> one number each. I mean, that's it. That's one. You can only have one number on a ping pong ball. So that's pretty simple. I mean, 26 different ping pong balls. Um, so anyway, so I'm gonna take this first one and I'm gonna spread this out a little bit, and we're gonna do. equals this guy divided by parentheses this guy f4 times this guy f4 close parentheses and we're going to take that out to 10 digits Okay, let's take it out to 30. All right, now let me copy that down. I'll tell you what, let's just make it two digits. That way everybody will see, see it better. Bless you. Thanks. No station in class, please. <laughs> Or maybe. All right, and I'm going to copy that down. So, I want you to tell me something. Who is smarter? Somebody that buys one ticket or somebody that buys two million tickets? One ticket. One ticket. One. 
you can see that Billy Bob and Bubba buying 1,000 tickets and 50,000 tickets, and they're really dumbasses, okay? Because what is your chance of winning? Now, you, you, get a, you might get a 100, let's say 1% 1 chance at 1,500,000. So you're spending $3 million on tickets. Let me let me let y'all in on a little secret. I, I can tell the future. Y'all know I can. If you are spending three million dollars on lottery tickets, why are you playing the damn lottery? <laughs> Think about it. If you're spending three million dollars on lottery tickets, think about that. All right. So. This little experiment here basically says that you got the same chance of winning, and I'll just be conservative. If you buy 500,000 tickets, or if you buy one ticket, you still got a 0% chance. You play it for what? Fine. You don't play it to pay your bills. That's called redneck disorder. Okay? So don't do that. All right, because you're not going to win. So don't take your your kids' diaper money and your kids' shoe money and play the lottery because you're going to lose and then you'll be tied up with DSS. Like you. Yeah. So how do you do a permute? Well, it's real simple. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Equals permute. P E R M U T. Parentheses, and I'm just going to do the same one, 69, comma, 5. And I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to show you. You need to write that down. If you use the Excel spreadsheet, that's what you use to do permutation. Permute. I think you can do factorial. Let me look it up right quick. F-A-C-T. I don't see it. I think that may be it right there. But I don't know. Let's see what. Yeah, that returns the factorial. Good job. You've actually tried it. Wow, I'm feel faint. No, I read the description. Oh, you did? Okay. <laughs> factorial. Somebody do five. What is five? Is it five 120? <laughs> There you go. Thank you. I didn't read it. Men don't read directions. You know that. You know why men don't read directions? Because we already know how to do everything. Yeah, right. That's why we always end up on the dumbass end of the stick. And the woman always goes, what's all these spare parts for? And the kid's <laughs> in the ditch because the front wheel come off the bicycle. <laughs> it is. That's why. And that's why before GPS, if you always go, uh, a couple, a guy and a girl, go somewhere, the guy will always go in circles when you get there because he knows where he's going. And that's why you're running around in circles. <laughs> Guys are stupid. Sorry. All right. So everybody got the lottery down? Now I'll let you do, I'm going to let you do the handy dandy mega mid. Oh, what y'all get? Let's see. What y'all get for? Uh, okay, let's let me let me do this. Let me do this right quick. Let's do equals this guy times this guy. This is what you should have for the denominator: two hundred ninety-two million two hundred one thousand three hundred thirty-eight. Write that down. That should be your don den denominator. All right, now let's go to the Mega Million. So I'm going to take my handy-dandy whiteboard. And guess what the meeting's on at 10 o'clock? These polycom classes. Bounce, bounce, been raising all kinds of sin. They're terrible, they're terrible. They wouldn't have anything to do with the teacher. Probably. There you go. 
Now you try that one. Speak up, Easley. I can't hear you. You got questions? Speak up. No, I'm just kidding. Because I know it ain't Pendleton. Leave Pendleton alone. Why are they going to come down here to Anderson and silence me today? I, I got my posse right here. All of them. <laughs> they hate you because you talk to me. <laughs> They do. They talk about you when you're not in the room. Because you talk, emails about talk me? to me. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to be an introvert. So that makes them upset. Yeah, they really do look like they're upset. <laughs> well, you said they hate me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take my handy dandy calculator out on this one. So let's take my handy dandy calculator, move this over, cause somebody will complain. So, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna take my handy dandy calculator and I'm gonna go 70 math probability NCR and what five? Yeah. All right, and I'm gonna show you a trick of learning the war. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna take it to the stove button. That's where you get bread. That stove down here on yeah, the left hand side. Hit the stove button. And I'm gonna say I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna put it in file A. Alpha math. That's just like putting it in a folder. So I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to clear it because I've got it stored. I've got that number stored. So I'm going to clear it. Now I'm going to show you another trick of learning the war. It's second entry, second entry, which is enter. And now you don't have to type in all that stuff. You just go back and type in, what's my other number, 25? Yeah. And one, which will be 25. You don't have to calculate that. But now I'm going to sew. You bread. I'm going to call that alpha apps, which is B. So now I've stored my two denominators that I'm going to multiply in alpha A and alpha B. Now I'm going to go one divided by parentheses alpha A times alpha B. And you feel good about yourself. That's how you use a calculator. You don't use a calculator to add 6 plus 8. You don't use a calculator to take the square root of 25. You use a calculator because of complicated, time-consuming mathematics. If it's time-consuming for you to take the square root of 25 in your calculator, then you need to be in a closet office just filing papers. Okay? Thank you. Please be quiet. <laughs> so, now if you just need the denominator, then you do alpha A times alpha B. And there is your denominator. 302-575-350. Now let's check our answers with the South Carolina Education Lottery. Let's go back and let's look at odds for the Powerball. Look there. It's a miracle. <coughs> now let's go find the odds for Mega Mega. It's a miracle. And now you're educated about the lottery. So please don't go to DSS because of the lottery. <laughs> 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 
there's a guy, there's a gas station near my house, the Shell station across from Davis and Elrod, and there's a guy that comes in there and buys $500 worth of tickets. I feel like a couple in Florida one time spent like, was it $70,000 or $70,000? I don't know, they spent like a lot, and they never were And then somebody could walk in with a dollar right after they bought all those tickets and win. It's just like the die. If you throw that die six times and it comes up with all fours, and then you say, okay, I'm going to bet $100 it's going to roll four fours. It'll roll six twos. Does the die have ears? No. This called, it's, there's no such thing as luck when it comes to something like a die or a picking up a card. There's not, there's not luck. It's just you're at the right place at the what? Right, right. right time. Right. So if anybody tells you it different, or they tell you that you can, they can tell the future, hmm. you know what that is. All right. Because if anybody can tell the future, I just, I'll, I'll pay you $25. Just give me one thing. Give me those five numbers. And if they don't win, then I get my money back. Oh, that's not what I do. No, you don't. You're a fraud. Huh? All right. You play 20 questions with depressed people. That's what you do. I'll shut up. You said depressed. What? I said you said depressed people. Well, think about it. If a person goes to somebody to want to see their future, chances are they're either depressed or they're not depressed. Okay, right? You got a 50-50 shot, right? Well, yeah. if you're worried about your future, that means you have anxiety. So chances are you're probably in a depressed state or a semi-depressed state. You're not jumping around like jelly beans. Oh, I want to go learn my future. I mean, you're not worried about your future if you're bouncing around like a jelly bean or a ping pong ball, are you? Does SpongeBob worry about his future? But Squidward does. <laughs> <laughs> what does Squidward always say? You know, hey, there's my hopes and dreams. Let's bury my hopes and dreams. <laughs> He's depressed. <laughs> if you worry about the future and worry about the past, you're going to be depressed. Squirly Period. Fancy pants. <laughs> Who? Squirly and fancy pants. Oh my God. <laughs> he 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 was in the He couldn't so do anything. Cool. All right, who's got another? Okay, let's, uh, okay, that's pretty much everything. I think I've covered everything. There's one more, and it's a question like uh, the board members. Let's see if I can find one right quick. Let's see. Two cities. Okay. Got it. You got it. What happened? It was a I was lagging. TCTC dot my labs plus. Oh Lord! One day I come in here and it pulls up. The next day I come in here and it doesn't. I just want to cover. I want. I want y'all to see the difference between the the committee question and the board question. Now, like I told you before, if you're from a Southern Baptist church, you've been getting it wrong all these years because you know you have committees to go to the bathroom, you have committees for this social, you have committees for this, and they have a chairman and a vice. They're not supposed to have, but people get by with it. They put it in their bylaws. That's why they get by with it. But anyway, let's go to assignments. Which section is it? 7E? Yeah. 7E? Yeah. And let me find the question I'm looking for. Just a minute. I'll have to go to 7E. I'll have to go to the study plan because the teachers that make these classes, I'm in charge of trig and 
and college algebra. I'm not in charge of 103 because I wouldn't do it because this book sucks. This is 7A, right? Yeah, this is 7A. Okay, there's one. Oops, sorry. All right, there is a test question. What is a trifecta in any race? What is a trifecta? Three. First, second, third. Yes, three. The top three. <coughs> trifecta at most racetracks consists of selecting the first, second, and third place finishers at a particular If there are seven entries <laughs> in the trifecta, how many tickets must you purchase to guarantee a win? So that would be what? First of all, is it a combination or a permutation? Why? Order. So therefore, it would be seven, permutation, what? Three. So do that for me. I want you all to give me the number. You can't do it? We'll just consider you... A failure. There you go. I need to start selling. That's what I need to start doing, making t-shirts. Selling you what? I'm a failure. <laughs> I need burn. <laughs> I make bad decisions, so therefore I need burn. You have like 360. What? You have like 360. Yeah. Well, they have it for me too. So, I'll be in Atlanta and they'll be like, why are you in Atlanta? Oops. I forgot to mention. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, that's when I go to the strip club with my 13 year old. All right. So, what did y'all get? 210. 210 tickets. And you feel good about yourself. I still want to find the board question because that's the one that uses. Let me see if I find one. Okay, this is one like it. No. No. I guess I'm just going to have to write it. This book sucks. All right. Let me just write one. Because I want you to have it in case you ever take a... Because this is the type, I've shown you a trifecta, I've shown you the lottery question, so let's go ahead and do a board question and a committee question. So here we go. I'm just going to type it so it'll look professional. i got to present, i got to do this Saturday, so I'm presenting. Put my PowerPoint together last night, so. All right. Suppose... You have, yeah, suppose you have 30 people in a club. Because when you're an adult, you don't feel like you have to join a club or a tribe to make you feel better about yourself. Suppose you have 30 people in a club and you have to create a board and a committee. Come. What are the outcomes? Oh, I gotta say, uh, five, let's see, a board, and the board has to be uh, chairman, vice chairman, and secretary. Everybody with me? Yeah. And then a committee needs to be a five member committee. What are the outcomes? In other words, tell me the outcomes for a three member board and a five member committee. Thank you. 
Yeah, I told y'all they wanted me to present at Pendleton. They wanted me to present a streaming classroom at Pendleton. How was I going to do that? I'm going to use this for work. Yeah, I'm going to use this. You might want to put an email create. Oh, shit. No, I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use this presentation <laughs> system. Okay, let me fix that right quick. Thank you. Okay, hold on. I'm fixing it right now. You ready? You forgot his eat. <laughs> there, how about that? Is that good? There. It's at the E to the A to the N. I and, then put your name right her. and then put your I name where it says you she said. She sounded like C3PO. <laughs> here, here. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Okay, I think that's telling me to shut up. Oh, man. All right, so here we go. So the 30 people in the club, that's going to be in. So 30 permutation of three, because there's three uh, board members, and it's permutation because this represents what? Order. So somebody crank that in your calculator, and please don't mess it up. 24,360. 24,360. Do, do I have a second on that? That's right. Will somebody confirm that? That's right. Okay, yes. thank you. And then the second part would be 30 combination of five because the committee does not have officers. So what would that be? Under 42,506. 506? Yes, sir. Okay, somebody confirm that one. All right. So now you've got five, you've got about four or five questions that I've told you will be on my test, as well as a standardized test. So you should have enough to do that last section of homework, 7E. <laughs> and don't forget the license plate, and don't forget smile. You know how to do those. One is to the exponent, and one is, I mean, letters factorial. Okay, so that's six, about six questions. Anybody got questions? All right, that means Friday is question day, and Monday is question day, and if it's not questions, then we'll start the test, which means I will put a termination date on the homework of Wednesday and a termination date of next Monday on the test. Y'all have a wonderful day. I'm just going to say everybody's here today because I took roll last time.